Yo, what's good? It's Will Hunter back out with another video. Today we're doing a magic cape guide, how to get it. Uh, we're gonna go step by step explain exactly how you get it. This is the new max mage dude, 171 bonus, and the cape also gives you a plus two damage percentage. Definitely worth getting even if you don't have max mage. Um, it's pretty simple. It takes about an hour if you have to unlock all god spells. If you already have un all uh, god, lock god, sp god spells unlocked, it should only take about 30 minutes. So listen to the guide, it explains everything, gear setups, inventory setups, um, how to deal with PKers, how to make sure you don't get skull tricked and you don't die uh, while you do this. Um, try to like do step by step what the guide says and you should be able to finish it in under 30 minutes uh, if you have the uh, spells unlocked. Um, Alright boys, enjoy the guide and good luck. So first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to head over to Mage Bank and you're going to want to talk to Koladin, I believe, uh, which is the guy who's like, he's in like a blue like suit or something. And you want to make sure first thing you want to uh, talk to him, that's the second option. Okay. Um, so once you're here, go over and talk to this dude, uh, Koladin, uh, spam through the options, uh, click two, press space a couple of times and he should tell you uh, what spells you've unlocked. Okay, so he says I need to unlock the Strike spell, the Claw spell, and the Flame spell. So this account needs all of them. Uh, so basically what you're going to want to do here is uh, you're going to use your DSIM to open up the webs. Make sure your player attack options are hidden here so you don't accidentally skull on somebody while opening the webs. Uh, grab about three player potions and grab a full inventory of sharks just in case. You could probably do this without anything. Uh, and then grab about 200 blood, so you're going to need 200 for each spell. And then grab, actually put a few more sharks in the bank. Um, grab uh, your cash stack and grab uh, some smoke runes. Uh, grab about 1k of those. And then head on over into the sparkling pool. And grab yourself uh, a staff of every kind if you don't already have it. Once you've got that, uh, head on over here and grab a couple of each cape in case you die. I'm gonna grab about, uh, let's see, maybe about three of every cape, just in case. One, two, three, four items, so nobody has really incentive to kill me. Make sure you bank all of your items, including your cash. And the other staffs and capes. I'm gonna bring a D-SIM just so I can cut the web. And then I'm gonna grab my sharks. Inside the arena, you're going to need 200 blood runes and I don't know how many smoke runes, but a bunch. Um, and you're going to want to just attack one of these things and uh, basically just hit this um, until your blood rune count is at zero. And then uh, do that three times over, uh, once with each staff. And uh, when you're done with that, uh, you can start the actual mini quest. Alrighty, once you're done, you'll get this message saying congratulations, you've unlocked the spell. Then head north and go back into the mage bank. Uh, take off your Sarah staff and Sarah cape. Bank those, grab your Guthix staff and Guthix cape. Equip those for whatever spell you need to train next. Grab 200 blood runes out of your bank. Um, and make sure you have enough prayer potions, maybe bring a stamina potion, and make sure you have something to cut the web with, uh, and pull the lever, and do the next spell. Alrighty, so once you've unlocked the second spell, go to your bank, deposit whatever. I'm gonna deposit my Guthic Staff, and then I'm gonna pull out my Zami Staff and my Zami Cape. Uh, I've made sure to re-up my runes. I've got uh, some uh, 200 bloods and some smoke runes. I got re-upped my prayer potions and uh, just gonna double check that I unlocked it with Kaladin. Press two here. And he says that I have uh, strike, uh, not claw, uh, and you still need to train up the flame. Okay, perfect. We've uh, unlocked all the spells. Uh, you should be able to select the third option when you talk to Kaladin. Um, and you should, uh, once you make sure you have free inventory slots, ask him, uh, select the first option, ask him what components he needs, and then he should give you an enchanted symbol. You don't need to ask anything further at this point. Uh, right now, what you're going to want to do is you want to gear, you want to gear your account up. So start, uh, um, select which, or figure out which, uh, spell you want to start with. 
Uh, I'm gonna start with the Sarah spell, so I'm gonna get, get a gear up in that gear setup that I'm going to use and I've used for the past uh, five capes that I've done. So this is basically how it's gonna work. You're gonna use double black dehyde, mystic boots, rune gloves. You're gonna use a seer's ring if you have an imbued one, that's pretty good. Uh, use it, make sure you have a glory, make sure it's charged. And you're gonna start with uh, a Sarah staff and a Sarah cape if you do, you're doing the Sarah. I, I just, I'm gonna start with Sarah because that's easiest for me. Um, you're gonna make sure that your Serp has uh, like enough scales in it and that your glory has charges and if it does you should be good. Uh, for the inventory itself, I'm bringing uh, four sores and eight brews. Uh, I actually tested brews versus shards and found that uh, brews were actually uh, more effective and faster for or like enabled you to complete the boss a little bit faster than using shards. So basically what you're going to want to do here is uh, you're going to want to have your bruise on the same side as whatever spell you're using. So since I'm using Sarah, I'm just going to have my bruise on the right side here and that's going to make it pretty easy. Basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to brew once, Sarah strike the boss, brew twice, Sarah strike the boss, brew three times, Sarah strike it again, then restore back up and continue Sarah striking. Um, you're also going to hug the, the boss around the tree, um, but we'll get into that uh, once we get there. Okay, before you, make sure you also have enough bloods and smoke runes, 200 and 1k uh, smoke should be enough. Um, make sure before you tell you up to angler up, stamina up, imbue heart, if you have an imbued heart, but it doesn't really matter because you're going to be brewing anyway. Super defense, okay, and then um, then you should be good, okay? Make sure you have enough, a stamina in your inventory and an enchanted symbol. You're also going to want to have an alternate account. I would highly recommend this for people who are doing their, for this for the first time as well as basically anybody. So this is the gear that I'm bringing on my alternate account, no item gear. Uh, perhaps I'll bring a D-SIM uh, so that uh, I would be able to uh, cut webs for myself or hit some NPCs who are hitting my uh, main account. I'm gonna bring about six brews and three restores and the rest sharks and, and a Carl teleport as well as a glory so that I can get out. Um, what I'm gonna do at this point is I'm gonna tell you up on my account to Anna Carl. Make sure that Anna Carl is safe in this world, and then I will tell you back up on my or tell you up on my other account. Um, okay, first thing you want to do when you come in, have your alt follow you, uh, then click here, okay, and click Sarah, which is a uh, spell that you're gonna start with. It says it did, don't worry about what it says at first. It says it's very hot, so that means that the uh, the demon is actually pretty close. Now you're gonna run about one mini map east, and you're gonna hit it again. It says, but colder than last time. All that matters is uh, this word right here, colder. So we know that the thing is getting colder. So that means when we ran east, it got colder. All we did was run it straight east from Anna Carl. So we know we have to run west now. Okay, so we're gonna run a couple mini maps or one mini map west. I'm gonna stamina up here. And then we're gonna check again. We're gonna hit that, click one. And that says, hot, warmer than last time. So we're going in the right direction, which is good. Okay, uh, Okay. it says we're colder, so we actually have to go back. Okay, let's make sure we're in the right direction, hit warmer. Okay, good. I'm gonna check south now. Now that I know it's around here, I'm gonna go south and then hit this again and see what it says, warm or cold. Uh, warmer than last time. So we know that south is the right direction, so we're gonna continue going south here. About one more mini map. Okay, uh, visibly shaken so it's getting closer okay it's actually hitting me okay so what i'm gonna do here is okay it's cb'd me don't worry about that okay so i'm gonna uh, put my alt here make sure my options are hidden i'm gonna eat up to full hp i'm gonna trade myself over some shards okay four shards one two three four that might be a pk there so i might have to watch out here Okay, I'm good now. Okay, what I need to do, I want to do is here, take off my Surf Helm. Uh, yeah, that guy's just doing the boss. I'm going to charge up and start hitting the boss. What I'm going to keep doing is, I'm, you're going to see me doing this. I'm going to hug the tree every single time. The reason I'm doing this is because the, uh, the boss has the capability of barraging you and freezing you. Um, in case you don't want that, um, you just want to hug the tree. So he barraged me now and I actually got stuck. Um, at this point, since I'm not doing anything, you could be trading your ult for food right now, just not to waste time. Um, but we're, right now it seems that I'm fine. I'm going to do it anyway, just to show you guys how that's, that works. So I'm just going to trade over one brew and one restore. And I'm full supplies again. Again, make sure your options are hidden. 
Okay, hit the boss again, make sure you're charged up, and keep going. Okay, so we finished the kill. Okay, what we're gonna do now is quickly uh, put our tank gear back on, grab this demon heart. Um, if you need any food, you can trade your ult at this point, but you should be okay. Uh, I guess I'll just trade quickly, trade three brews over. All right, so what's your, once you're back at the bank, you're gonna do a couple things, okay? Um, unequip your Sarah Staff and unequip your Sarah Cape, and then choose which one, which spell you're going to do next. I'm gonna do the Claws of Gothic spell. You're gonna to wanna to equip those things, okay? Um, make sure, again, your Surf Helm is charged, your Glory has uh, spaces in it. Grab uh, your bonuses. Head to Clan Wars or to your house portal to restore energy. Make sure that you've got enough runes. You should be good usually with about 100 to 200. Okay. Bank your bonuses. Put sharks in. And then at this point, you're just going to tell you, or make sure you have one more stam. You're going to check that Anna Carl is clear, and you're going to repeat the same process that we just did for Sarah on Zamp. Alrighty, so I'll begin the Sarah Cape on this account. Actually, I'll probably get the, the Zam Cape anyway. So let's see, let's talk to this guy. We've got all three hearts. Should take them one by one. You just took them. You use your cape on Kolodin, and then he will turn it into an imbued Zammy cape. That's what it looks like. And uh, yep, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching the guide. Uh, you know, Feel free to subscribe to the channel if you guys enjoyed it. Um, there'll be some uh, PKN guides and stuff. Very sorry, PKN commentaries probably with the new capes coming out soon. Uh, you know, always some big loots, and uh, we'll definitely be skull tricking around. So uh, be careful if you're out. Um, keep your options on hidden, although that probably won't save you realistically. Um, but uh, yeah, guys, GL, and I hope you guys uh, found this guide useful. If you did, leave it a like, and I will catch you guys in that next video. Peace.